Right, so uh, here we are. We're filling the pontoons today with expanding foam. It's a two part or two pack expanding foam. You mix two different chemicals together in equal quantities. It all foams up and sets and uh, acts as a really great buoyancy for your pontoons. So, hope you enjoy this. Right, this is a quick uh, toolbox talk on how to mix um, two pack expanding foam. So you get yourself a mixing bucket like this one here and I've already pre-marked two levels because you put equal amounts of the quantities of A and B in. So I've marked there, fill it up to A and then pour B in till it goes up to there. Mix it all up with this little device which is just a cordless drill with a paddle mixer on the end that you can buy from any paint hardware store. Give them a bit of a mix up first before you open them. Mix for 30 seconds. That is thoroughly mixed. Straight away it's expanding nicely. So literally after five minutes it's solid and it's expanded dramatically. Gonna have a lot of cleaning out to do in my mixing bucket. Fairly easy to clean up though. I mean this. Yeah. Oh well. If I do any more I'll uh, probably take it a bit more seriously. So so for the second pour, what we're going to do is uh, 
as soon as we've mixed it, pour it in and then get the lid on, get some bolts in it, bolt it down. That way it'll expand into all the nooks and crannies. And when I designed these, I specifically designed them so that these didn't go to the top. That way that when the lid's on, the flow of um, foam as it expands can go over the tops and join up all the cavities and fill up all the spaces. I'm going to drill 50 millimeter holes in the tops, in the top of the lid, which I've got rubber bungs for to put in afterwards, so that what's what's left will expand up through the holes. Okay, so uh, I'm going to trial make make a trial hole. Uh, a 50 mil hole just to check that the bungs the rubber bungs that I've brought or rubber grommets will fit so so I use my hole saw which I think if I read it right it's a 51 millimeter hole made the hole in a bit of ply these are my bung rubber grommets and they fit absolutely perfectly look at that I couldn't have asked for a better fit right so now we're about to cut um, five holes 50 millimeter round holes in the tops of each lid and that's for the expanding foam to escape. Right, so now we've done the first layer of expanding foam. You do it in layers so that it doesn't go all sticky in the middle and doesn't set, a bit like a cake really. Uh, so you do at least two layers and then uh, once it's got to the top, you clamp the top down quick. And uh, what's, it likes, it, the expanding foam likes to have um, a confined space to work in. So then it gets into all the little cavities, pushes itself around all the little bits and areas in the corners and everything that it wouldn't normally do. Because it's quite lazy so if it didn't have to it wouldn't go into those spaces. So by clamping the top down and then making a few holes in the top, you're uh, making it work for its living, which is a good thing. <laughs> 